Welcome back to my channel. Do you also want to install Windows 11 on your unsupported system, but avoid doing so because of slowness and lagging issues? Well, today I have brought a special version of Windows for all of you that will use half the resources of Windows 11 and deliver even better performance. So, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. As you can see, my system currently has the original Windows 11 installed. And if I open Task Manager to check the performance, you'll notice that even in an idle state, it's using 47% of the RAM. This means that when I perform any important tasks, it will reach 100% usage, causing lag. To solve this problem, I will install Tiny Windows 11 on this system. So first, we need to download Tiny Windows 11. For this, we'll open a browser and search for Tiny Windows 11. From the search results, we'll open the Internet Archive website because it's the best option. I'll provide the link in the description. Here we'll click on the ISO image option, expand it, and find all versions of Tiny Windows 11, including the latest and older versions. I'll download the latest version from here. I have already downloaded the ISO image, so I will open the folder and mount it. Now, if I try to open the setup from here, it won't work because this is a modified Windows meaning many services, apps, and settings have been removed to make it use fewer resources. Therefore, it can only be installed through a clean installation. So we will download Rufus and create a bootable USB with it. I'll open a new tab, search for Rufus, and download the standard version from the official website. Once the download is complete, I'll open Rufus and plug in my USB drive, which it will automatically detect. Next, I'll click the Select button and choose the Tiny Windows 11 ISO image. You can adjust Rufus settings according to your drive. If your drive is MBR based, select MBR, and if it's GPT based, choose GPT. I'll select GPT, change the USB drive name to Tiny Windows 11, and then start the process. As you know, this process can be a bit time consuming. Once the process is complete, we will restart our system if we want to install it on the same PC. Otherwise, if installing on a different system, We'll connect the USB, start that system, and press the boot key. In my case, it's F12. You should press the relevant key for your system. This will take us to the boot menu, where we'll select the bootable USB to start the system from it. After loading completes, the setup screen will appear. First, the setup will ask for language, time, and currency format, and input method preferences. I don't want to change these, so I'll click Next. After accepting the terms and conditions, I'll proceed further. Here you can choose which partition to install Windows on. Since I want a clean installation without any old data, I'll delete all existing partitions, recreate them, and then select a 100 gigabyte partition for Windows installation. The installation will take some time, but once completed, the setup will restart the system. Now, it will prepare Windows for the first boot, start all necessary services, and after the process finishes, we'll see the initial setup screen. Here we'll select our country, then choose the keyboard layout. If you want to add multiple layouts, you can do that as well. After this, it will ask us to connect to the internet, but I want to continue offline. So I'll select the I don't have internet option and proceed with a limited setup. Next, we'll set the system username. I'll name mine Technicio after my channel. Then, if you want, you can set a password, but I'll skip it and click next. After configuring the privacy settings, the system will create my user account and get everything ready for me. Now we're logged in. First, I'll enable the desktop icons, and now I'll show you the performance of this tiny Windows by opening Task Manager. Here you can see that my system is currently using only 23% RAM, which is half of what the previous Windows was using. It consumed 47% RAM even in an idle state. Meanwhile, this tiny Windows has the same interface as Windows 11, and if we go to Settings and then About, You'll see that the addition is still Windows 11 Pro because it functions the same way, just with fewer services and apps removed for better efficiency. So, by installing Tiny Windows 11, your system will use half the resources compared to the original Windows 11. This means it's the best option for unsupported hardware if you still want the Windows 11 experience. That's all for today. In the next video, I'll show you how to check saved passwords in Google Chrome and even edit them if needed. So don't miss my next video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss an update from our channel. Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.